Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough, it's never 10 minutes, and it's never 10 minutes wasted. In the workshop this week, I've got a quick technique tip for you. That's coming up next. So if you've seen my Making It Right video where I sort of spray twiddly Victoriana over my nice clean alcove cabinet, because um, that's what the client wanted, um, you at, at the top where I've got the, the cornice, the moulding, I, I use this, focus that, I use this technique where I sort of wrap the cornice around, it's called a reverse mitre, um, and I've had a couple of people, focus back on me, i had a couple of people uh, ask me how to do that. It's not difficult. Um, there are a couple of things you have to watch out for. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm going to talk through the technique now on the bench, and then we'll uh, we'll actually cut one at the saw. Okay, so I've got this painted black, just so that it's a little bit easier to see. And normally, if you if you want to make a mitre cut, you do a first cut like that. Then you take the waist and you turn it, and you make the second cut like that. And that's your basic sort of mitre, like so. Well, the reverse mitre, you, all you do, you actually just take the, the waist side and you make another cut straight across this edge here. And all that does is just sit in there to finish that off. So we make our first mitre cut from the main section, then take the off cut from this piece and make a reverse cut. Then we flip this over and make a straight cut, remembering that it's now the off cut from this piece that we need to keep. Then it's a simple matter of gluing the ends together and making sure they fit. After a coat of paint, you'll never see the join. So that's it for our quick workshop tip and technique today. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, share it, like it, subscribe to it, or just come back next Friday when there'll be a new video up at noon. I'll see you then. Take care.